Now, your 13 First Alert weather forecast. Well, another great day to spend some time outdoors. Warmer this afternoon. Yesterday, recall, most places warmed through the 60s, topped out near 70. Today, most places have been in the 70s. In fact, uh, some of our warmer readings have been in the mid-70s, and that's several degrees above average for this time in May. Warm up coming not only with the sunshine like we saw yesterday, but also breezy winds from the southeast. That's helped to bring in a little bit of this warmer air. And we've got a warm evening shaping up, so still plenty of time to enjoy these very nice conditions. The clouds very high and thin. This is a little overdone as far as the graphics show, but uh, it is going to stay mainly clear and dry for the next several hours. A live look at our Nicolay Bank Phoenix Park Skycam. It is beautiful outside. You can see some of those clouds in the distance. Still plenty of sunshine though. 75 degrees right now. Southeast wind at about 14 miles per hour. The air is very dry. We're not worrying about higher humidity. It doesn't feel muggy with dew points in the 30s. Pressure 29.83 inches. Statewide we have fair conditions, lots of sunshine, and then the farther west you go, the more you're apt to run into more and more clouds, especially heading into Minnesota. This is the leading edge of this next weather system, which does promise to bring some changes our way for tomorrow. Notice uh, temperatures are widespread in the 70s at this hour, even when you start getting into some of those thicker clouds. So Tomorrow is still going to be a day where we're likely to be above average. In fact, I think with a bit of sunshine possible some point in the afternoon, we could be back up around 70. It does cool off eventually once you get on the other side of this system, and we'll see a couple of cooler days later this week as well. So for tonight, we're going to stay mild. Now, last night we were down in the 40s. The previous morning in the 30s. Tonight, we're likely to stay in the 50s, so it's going to be a mild overnight for May. And then for tomorrow, again, we've got a couple of rounds of showers and storms. One that comes in first thing in the morning, fairly weak, but it will be a wet start to the day. As we head into the afternoon, we'll catch a break and I think also a break from the clouds. And any sunshine will allow temperatures to bump back up fairly quickly because it will be a pretty warm air mass as we get on the other side of the front that lifts to the north. So there will still be the potential for some 70s in the area and dew points come up and that will be a factor in the potential for maybe some stronger thunderstorms firing up tomorrow afternoon. Uh, as we look at our forecast uh, synoptic map here, we see we're on the backside of high pressure southeasterly flow. There's the high right there over my shoulder. And uh, looking westbound, here's the low as we have a pretty strong warm front that extends down to the south through the central plains. A rare high risk of severe weather centered right over Oklahoma this afternoon and uh, several tornado watches are in effect throughout this area. It could be a very, very volatile evening and night for that part of the country. For us, we're looking at again, mainly clear skies, just a few clouds through at least midnight. Here's the first band of rain coming in by about daybreak. Could be some rumbles of thunder in here. No severe weather with that, a few heavier downpours. And then we get into a bit of clearing. The afternoon, we see some storms fire up. These could produce some hail, maybe some locally strong winds and an isolated tornado can't be ruled out, but not much of a factor. And then we see that system pull away as we head on into Wednesday, it looks like will largely be dry. There's just a small chance of an isolated shower. And you're going to see a lot of those slight chances in the forecast. So if you do have outdoor plans that might be sensitive to weather over the next several days, keep checking in because basically the slight just means that we have disagreements in the forecast data. So mm. we're not confident one way or the mm -hmm. other. Uh, so chances remain low, but hopefully as each day goes on, we'll have uh, higher confidence either to take it off altogether right. or increase it. But definitely keep that umbrella handy. Yeah, it's a pattern where we could have mm -hmm. just scattered activity right. almost every day actually. All right, thanks Darren. Yeah. Our entertainment